No. I am now. Can you hear me now? Okay. Can you, can you hear me? We can there hear we you, go. Bradford. Thank you. Sir. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Cool. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Okay. And it's 7 o'clock. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting to order on Monday, November 15th at 7 p.m. I have a few introductory remarks to make at the beginning of this meeting. So hello and welcome. I'm Chair Adam Miller and I will be presiding over this meeting. As we begin, I'd like to review a few housekeeping items from the Commission, applicants, and members of the public present tonight remotely. Applicants attending remotely will be muted by staff until their agenda item is called. Once called, the applicant will be unmuted to make their presentation and answer any questions of the Commission. When your, item, when your item is complete has been voted on, you are free to leave the meeting. Public comment will be solicited during each actionable agenda item. Once I ask for public comment on a specific item, please click the raise hand in the GoToWebinar in order to make public comment. Before being individually identified, all members of the public will be muted. Village staff will announce the speaker by stating their name and unmute their audio to allow up to three minutes of public comment. When called, please state your name and address for the record and proceed with your comments, speaking clearly during your allotted time. Uh, please note that um, please limit background noise to the extent possible when speaking. Please be sure to identify yourself so we know who is speaking and do not use the chat or question function in the GoToWebinar as these functions will not be mon monitored during the meeting. As a reminder, this meeting can be viewed live on Comcast Local Channel 18 or streamed at royalpalmbeach.com slash YouTube. Uh, thank you for that. Now uh, we're all going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Christina, can you do a roll call, please? Yes. Chairman Adam Miller? Present. Vice Chair Philip Marquis? Present. Commissioner June Perrin? Commissioner David Leland. Here. Commissioner Ray Nazareth. Laura McClellan, alternate one. Gerald Brown, alternate two. Here. Thank you, Christina. Um, I need a motion made on the minutes from last meeting. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of the October 26th meeting. Okay. Um, motion made by Commissioner Leland. Do we have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Commissioner Marquis. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Minutes pass, five to zero. Um, so now we have the first uh, agenda item, application number 21-86, AAR, Kano Dental at Village Center. The applicant, Shana Brogan, at Sign Access Incorporated, is requesting architectural approval for additional signage on the existing monument sign for property located at 11700 Okeechobee Boulevard. Uh, Mitty, over to you. Ms. Brogan, are you are you have you called in? All right, I'll turn back to the board and ask if there are any ex parte disclosures on 21-86 that need to be disclosed. No. Okay, Bradford, over to you. Thank you, <clears throat> Christina. I believe that one of the Christina Carulos is me, so I can share my screen. We can see you, Bradford, or we can see your presentation. Perfect, thank you. Um, the applicant is requesting architectural approval to add signage to the existing monument sign for Kano Dental, located at the southwest corner of Royal Palm Beach Boulevard and Okeechobee Boulevard and within the Royal Palm Medical Plaza. Here's a um, illustration of the sign that they are the requesting, read Kano Dental. The color scheme is blue PMS 307C in satin and green PMS 360C in satin. And staff is recommending approval of this application. With that being said, I'll turn the floor back over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bradford. Um, the applicant's not on the line, correct? Not as of this moment, no. Okay. 
Um, so, um, uh, commissioners, do we have any questions? Commissioner Brown? No. Uh, Commissioner Leland? No. Commissioner Perrin? No questions. Commi I do not have any questions. Commissioner Mike? No. I, was, I messed up your name. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, no discussion. Um, I'd like to open the floor to public comment. There's no one, still no one on the line. Nobody. Okay, and no one in the audience. So I will close the floor to public comment. I'd like to make a uh, request a motion to be made on this item. I'll make a motion that we approve application number 21-86 AAR. Motion made by Commissioner Leland. Do I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Commissioner Marquis. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes five to zero. Uh, great. Um, uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission, don't forget the next meeting is Monday, December 20th, 2021. We had a date change um, of that. Um, before I adjourn, we adjourn this meeting, don't forget we have a local planning agency meeting. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Uh, motion, motion made by <laughs> Commissioner Perrin and seconded by Commissioner Marquis. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we, that Planning and Zoning is done. I'd like to call the meeting of the local planning agency to order on Monday, November 15th at 7.06 p.m. Um, we already did the pledge. Uh, Christina, I don't know if you can do the roll call again. Or... You can have the record reflect that the same members are present. Great, thank you. Um, so um, I need a motion to be made on the minutes from the October 26th LPA meeting. Motion made by Commissioner Perrin. Do I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Commissioner Leland. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Minutes pass five to zero. Okay, now to our only agenda. Well, second agenda item. Uh, ordinance number 1023, Comprehensive Plan Text Amendment to amend the text of the Village Comprehensive Development Plan to add and adopt a private property rights element <laughs> in accordance with sections 163.3177 and 163.3184 Florida statutes. Over to you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is uh, pretty straightforward. I, I tried to keep it as simple as possible, but essentially what happened is the last legislative session, the Florida legislature mandated that this become a new, that the village adopt a new co comprehensive plan element. It's called a private property rights element. Um, what I put in your agenda item summary is the proposed element. So it's an entirely new element, as you know, state law mandates several elements in the comp plan. As of last year's legislative session, this is a new one. So we are updating the village's comprehensive plan to make it conform with new state law. Um, this is before you because it was originally tracking with a, another item that has since been removed. But essentially what the law says is you have to, the village needs to adopt this new element either before the next comp plan text change that goes up to the EO to the a Department of Economic Opportunity, or by your next, what we call your ear-based amendment. Um, this was tracking with a different privately initiated item, which has since been um, withdrawn, but this is before you tonight for review and consideration. You sit as the LPA reviewing comp plan changes, so this is obviously a change. There are, the statute is very simple. There were five things that were required to be um, considered and contemplated in the element, so in Ordinance 1023, which was part of your backup. I kept it as simple as possible to follow uh, the state law. And essentially, you're already doing these things. But what the legislature prescribes is that the local government consider in all of its decision making certain things. So I've included language from the statute in your ordinance so that you're now meeting the state law. Um, this is its own element. So it'll go up to the state um, for comment, essentially. Hopefully, there will be no comments. but. It'll go through the normal comp plan process that all of your other uh, amendments go through. But with that, I'll answer any questions you have. Any questions, commissioners? No. Okay. Um, no questions. Um, I guess I have to solicit public comment. Yes, correct? sir. Uh, so I'd like to open the floor to public comment this item. Christine, anyone online? Nobody's online. And there's still no one in the audience. I'll close the floor to public comment. So I'd like to request a motion on this item. I think you have to do both for uh, ordinance number one. If you could reference the ordinance number, that's correct. 
So your motion could be to approve. Perfect. Thank you. Motion made by Commissioner Perrin. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Brown. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All, Aye. Oppo all opposed? Okay. Uh, motion passes 5 to 0. Uh, thank you, everyone. Our next meeting of the local planning agency is on Monday, December 20th, um, just like the other meeting. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn the local planning agency? I'll make a motion we adjourn. Uh, motion made by Commissioner Marquis. Do we have a second? Aye. Seconded by Commissioner Perrin. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned, folks. Thank you so much. Record time. Appreciate you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Mitty and Christina. Appreciate you guys. And Bradford. <laughs> this one is going right now.